Hi Gorilla Tag, it's me, MMVR, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a lot of useful tips to grow your Gorilla Tag YouTube channel. Quick disclaimer before we start, I do not own the stick, I do not own the admin badge, or this. This is all Unity Explorer and just for fun purposes, I guess. Um, fun. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Okay, first thing is editing. You have to put God tier editing in. You have to put a couple hours of editing. Listen, 10 minutes of editing is not good enough. Trust me, I know from experience. On my personal videos, I put like hours of editing into each video, and they do really well. And I grew an audience. You guys, thank you so much for subscribing. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. But my editing has got me to where I am today. Personally, I think that's what blew me up is my good editing. I, well, I, I think I think it's good. Maybe, possibly good. Well, personally, I think it's good. So, yeah, definitely try and put as much hard work editing as you can. Try and get a paid editor. And if you need to use mobile, don't use anything besides CapCut. CapCut's the only way to go on mobile. And also, it's pretty weird to use. So, I highly recommend just using a PC editor like DaVinci Resolve. But, personally, I use Filmora Wondershare 11. I use the premium version, which is $90 for a one-time payment. But it has paid off, not gonna lie. I mean, I, I, um... I don't want to, like, tell anybody my payments, but I, I sort of earned that b money back off of YouTube ads, so I gotta say, pretty good decision. Just basically put as much hard work into your videos as possible. No matter what it takes, just do it. Just edit them to your maximum potential, make them funny, make them, like, serious, and yeah, just pretty much do all that stuff. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, your old tag. Next thing up is the camera mod. See what I'm looking at? That is what I like to call the camera mod. Or just mods in general. If you want to be a successful creator, I highly recommend having mods. Because they could, like, make you look, like, better. Like, versus somebody who doesn't have mods. Like, for example, see? See these platforms right here? Those are mods. See the camera that you guys are, like, looking at me by? That's a mod, okay? And you highly recommend a camera mod. Because, personally, I would much rather see somebody in a camera perspective anywhere than a mirror perspective just my tip to people who don't have a camera mod is just to don't use the mirror it just makes you look bad no offense just please no 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 like i'm like here's the cold hearted truth nobody's gonna watch it the second you see you in front of the mirror click off i mean that that's what i usually do if i see someone in front of the mirror i just i just click on the next video so if you have the camera mod definitely use that well basically just have a camera mod have mods in general uh, you don't have to, but you'll do way better if you have the camera mod. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now this is where it actually starts to get a bit more trickier. Video ideas. Video ideas are the hardest aspect of being content creator, especially on Gorilla Tag, a game that doesn't have that much content to offer. I mean, the game's really fun and all, but it is getting a bit dry. I don't want to be that YouTuber that's always like, Oh my god, Gorilla Tag's dying. Gorilla Tag's dying. I hate Gorilla Tag. Lemming's so stupid. I hope he dies. I literally don't care about his dad or anything. I just want Lemming to die because he's not updating the game and I don't touch grass at all. And I literally... So when you do a video idea, you want to put yourself in the viewer's perspective. You want to say... Hmm, if I were a viewer, would I actually watch this? Like, I'm gonna put up a video idea that flopped of mine that nobody cared about. See this right here? <laughs> nobody cares, okay? Nobody. See, th th like, nobody cares that I filled a room with bubbles. Like, literally nobody, no nobody cares that I filmed. See, you need to come up with video ideas that are unique. Like, see this video up here? This video of mine that blew up with 200 and like 15,000 views or something? This video was a good idea. And it hadn't been taken. So you just want to make your video ideas unique and fun. Don't make them boring. Don't make them like... Just come up with something unique, awesome, and overall entertaining. Let's get on to the next thing. Okay, well, that brings us to the next topic, copying video ideas. First off, just brief description of what I'm about to say. Don't copy people's videos ideas. Just, just don't. Okay, now let's get into actually why you shouldn't copy them. So first off, for example, if I were to copy somebody's video ideas, even if I asked for permission first, like if I went to like, let's just say J-Man Curly's video, and I was like, hey, can I use this idea? Even if he says yes, nobody's gonna watch yours. Nobody. Like you'll, you'll make nobody cares, unless you're also pretty famous. But like if you're a new creator, nobody's gonna watch it. I'm, I'm extremely sorry because they'll just search up that video idea that they wanna watch, J-Man's will pop up first. Yours just, you'll have to scroll for hours and just chances are they won't watch it unless the people are already fans of you. But I'm assuming you won't have fans if you just start off as a creator. So 
yeah, just generally don't copy video ideas. They won't do well, even if the person, like, gives you full-out permission. Even if the person reaches out to you asking you to do it, if anybody did it before you, nobody's gonna watch yours. Okay, let's just put a random video up here. Let's let's take TGG, for example. His video, Touching Every Train Gorilla Tag. If I were to copy that video idea, nobody would watch it. Neither would I. I wouldn't even watch my own video. I don't even think I could push myself to film all the way through it. Because he did it first. Even if he gave me permission, I still wouldn't like and I could do it nobody would watch it though like to be honest they'd be watching TGG's because his is better than the one that I'm probably gonna post because mine is inspired off of his so why wouldn't you just watch the original one just don't copy video ideas it's just that simple even if they give you permission you could still do it if they give you permission I'm just saying it ain't gonna go well which is why when people in my comment sections are DM me on discord hey can you watch can I can I use your video idea I'm like yeah, go ahead, because I know nobody's gonna watch theirs, they're all gonna watch mine, because I did it first, therefore, my video will do more successful than theirs. So, just, that's why I give everybody permission to use my video ideas, because, unless they're, like, huge, like, for example, I'd probably be, like, mad if somebody, like, really famous just took my idea, because then that would backfire on me. But if they're, like, a small creator, I don't care, nobody's gonna watch it anyways. I mean, you just can't take video ideas. Just, just don't. It's not going to be good in the long term. I probably just repeated what I said 5,000 times, but I can't stress enough. Just don't copy video ideas. I'm just going to shut up now. Let's move on to the next topic. And that brings us to our next topic, video length. <clears throat> this one is very controversial. It's all up to you. Just I personally think that shorter videos do good. And what I mean, let's 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 just calculate how, how good videos do in the time spans. So first off, we've got one to two minute videos. Those videos do pretty good usually average with a good high quality well-known creator usually gets like 50,000 views those videos now we have two to five minute videos these videos are where it starts to get really good like like i'll take my best video with 215,000 views this video is only five minutes long like six minutes long and it did really good that is what i'm talking about when i say really good videos you have to have short videos but not so short videos that they're like disgusting. Now, if we take a long video, for example, CO doesn't have that many views as the short video. And that is why you want shorter videos over longer videos. Basically, whatever you can edit is the best way to go. Like if you could edit really good for a short video, do that. If you could edit really good for a long video, do that. All depends on what you're good at. Now, let's get into the next thing. Okay, what I'm about to say now is extremely important to getting people to click on your title and video. So listen, what you want is a good thumbnail. That's literally all you need, a good thumbnail, and people will watch it. Thumbnail and title. First, I'm gonna go over thumbnail, let's get into it. So for thumbnail, I'm gonna put two thumbnails on screen and you, and you pick one that you would rather watch. Okay, two thumbnails, which one would you rather click on? And yeah, just which one, which one, choose one. The answer is this one. Obviously, this one is too crammed, has too much text on the screen, disgusting, bad. This one, doesn't have much text on the screen. It has like a few words. It has it gets straight to the point of the video. It's high quality. And it's just easy to look at. See this one? Just no. Just get out of here, bro. Now let's get on titles. Now next thing is titles. Titles are a bit more complicated. Like I'm gonna just put two titles on screen and you just choose which one you'd rather watch, okay? Choose which one. Yep, the answer is this one, because this one is way too long, too bulky, too hard to read, just overall bad. Just get that out of here. This one is good yeah this is way shorter it gets straight to the point it's easy to read and it's just it's just a better title you want to come up with short titles that are effective and easy to read and now let's move on to the next one okay now next one this one's more of like a short one but just don't go on popular youtubers videos and asks for and ask for collabs okay just don't they're not gonna like if you're a small youtuber they're not they're not gonna do collab with you unless they're also small but like if you for example if you go on my channel and you have like 10 subscribers and ask for a collab, um, uh, chances are that I'm probably going to say, I don't know how to say this. No. Okay. I'm, I'm very sorry. Just, just, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I like, I feel like, I don't know if you like, there's like a sub valid number for me. If you have like over 5k subs, it's a valid amount to get it. But if you don't put any work in your videos and stuff and whatnot, then I'm sorry. Like, just, you need to be more popular if you want to collab. So I recommend that you collab with your friends, gain your way up the chain. Once you're at a decent, valid amount of subs, I'd say around 7 or 8k, 
then go around asking people for collabs. Or, even if you don't have that many subs, for example, Official VR, he's friends with a lot of popular people. That's because he's just, he's, he's an official beta tester for Monkey Mischief. He does a lot of things outside of YouTube that gain in popularity. Just because he might not have as much subs as the other people, he's still very popular. Like, for example, we could take Rise GTag. He's, like, extremely famous, and I'm about to pass him in subs, and I'm not even that famous. So, you know, Rise GTag, he's one of those people that everyone knows about, just most people aren't subbed to him. Most people don't know about me. Please, please, God, don't ask people for collabs unless you're, like decently popular because chances are they're not gonna say yes like it's just the hard and cold truth okay like if you just come up to me and ask me for collab uh i don't even know who you are so probably not okay just chances are probably not uh let's move on to the next one all right so for the next section on the video i'm just gonna be blurting out random small little facts that can help you uh this part's probably pretty useless, but I'm just gonna blurt out random little things while while running and, and screaming and stuff. So, so let's get into it. Have a theme song for your channel. Have a location where you do all your intros. Never get banned like me because it's really annoying. I know you guys can't even see the cosmetics I'm looking at right now because the camera mod is really stupid, but have a main combo for your channel and have a valid PFP. Get decent at the game. Um, I can't really demonstrate this one because um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really that good at the game. Uh, yeah, let's move on. If you get midway through a video and, like, while editing it, you don't like it, don't upload it. If you don't think it's a good video, then nobody will watch. Respect your peer YouTubers. You should subscribe or else I'll kill the duck. Yeah, that's what I thought, bro. You better sub. I just gave you all that information and you just think it's funny to walk out of here and not subscribe. Oh, nice joke, bro. Nice. I'm gonna bonk you. See this little stick? I'm gonna bonk you. Yeah, so that's all, bro. I'm not about to do it to the duck. You and the duck are going to be friends in heaven. And I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to subscribe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh! Oh, you subbed. <laughs> okay, we're cool now. Okay, okay. I, I, was, I, was, I was getting concerned for your life there for a minute. <laughs> uh. Oh shoot! I think the federal I fe I don't I think the federal agents caught me. Um, I I'm a dip. Uh, don't snitch on me, please. Uh, I'm out, bruh.